All right, in this video, we're going to be looking at how to use the Microsoft Teams client as your phone system. We'll see here, tightly integrated into the Teams ribbon is the call button. And this can be programmed to appear anywhere within this taskbar. Starting at the top, we have our speed dials, contacts, history, and voicemail. In the bottom left, we have our dial pad we can use to dial external numbers and you'll notice there that there's a number listed that is your direct telephone number and most likely to be the number that you send when you make an outbound call looking at speed dials you'll be used to an old phone system where you could press a button call a specific number obviously in teams the environment brings other media into play as well. So it could be uh, one button to press to chat to somebody, um, etc. So it can either contain an email address or a phone number. In our case here, my internal delegates, I can start a chat, a phone call, or a video call. In terms of speed dials that I have, I have both internal and external. The external people, I can either have a phone number or an email address associated with that. Contacts are far more flexible, and it's mining Outlook and the like, and if somebody has more than one telephone number, we can come back down to it and, uh, and choose exactly which one we need to dial. Now, history, as the name implies, we're all used to it. It's going to list all of your incoming and outbound calls, and if you ever need to go back and call somebody uh, from there, you can do. Now, voicemail is huge. Microsoft Teams, um, not only does it give you the ability to go back and replay a message from an audio perspective, uh, but it also does transcription. So the chances are that uh, you only need to read what the person was saying and never have to listen to another voicemail again. Also get the option to speed up uh, the replay and coming back to the right hand side again, we get the option to go and call the person back or add them into uh, speed dials. Looking at all the other settings that are to do with Microsoft Teams and Voice, if you navigate back towards your icon, settings, firstly if we look at the general settings, here is where you can go back and set um, the people that you support. You can also have your delegates uh, sitting in there. So um, it's possible that you can change your call forwarding settings, for example, to go to your uh, delegates. If we look at devices, here's where you can double check to see the teams are seeing your um, the type of um, headset that you're using. You can make a test call to go and test the quality. Uh, and you've also got the option here to go back and uh, set an external ringer. So you know, if you've got a headset on and it's taken off and put it on the desk, then um, can ring through speakers on your desk. Next, we'll look at calls. Here is where you choose what happens if you don't answer a phone call. So currently my settings are calls will ring at nobody else. And if I don't answer them within 20 seconds, they'll end up going to voicemail. There's lots of options there. You can send them to call forward all to your mobile if you'd like to. Uh, you can send them through to your delegates uh, or a call group. Uh, you get the option to configure your voicemail, set your ringtones. And lastly, if you belong to a customer facing department, um, you get the option to log in and log out of call queues. So at the moment, we can see that I'm general, part of a general call queue um, and calls will be presented to me under certain circumstances. I think that should give you a really good overview of the power of the Microsoft Teams uh, client.